Now for young people like you and me who want to get into the tuning scene but can't afford your first car, your dad's old daily driver is probably the best bet for you. And this over here is probably your dad's old daily driver. This is a Vento 1.5 TDI. And trust me, this is a great platform to start your tuning journey on. This particular example over here is a stage 2 car and I'm going to tell you all about it today. The Vento isn't the most exciting looking of cars. In fact, some people would say it looks quite bland. But don't worry because it's a wag at the end. So the aftermarket support for this thing is endless. First of all, you can get a lot of different style of bumpers. Now this over here is one of the updated versions. So the bumper is a little bit different to the initial Vento that had come. You can get the GT style uh, bumper which looks like the GTI front bumper. You can change the grille. You can get a different set of lights if you want. Uh, now this particular car is running Lenzo Jaeger Dyna 17 inch rims which are basically the go-to for all Polo Vento owners and why not because it has to be one of the best looking rims for this particular car. Uh, head down to the back since it's the Vento you obviously have the boot uh, and you have a bootlet spoiler and again at the back you can change uh, the rear bumper as well. So yeah, don't worry about the looks. If you want to make it look something amazing, you can definitely do that as well. Now this is what most young people want to know about. How much power can your engine push? And the 1.5 TDI is a great base to start because first of all it's really fuel economical and it's a diesel so you'll get some good fuel economy numbers in the city as well as on the highway but more importantly the aftermarket support again for this engine is very very nice. Now this thing is a proper stage 2 setup. It pushes around 165 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque. It has a BMC air filter with custom piping done to it. It has a Garrett intercooler with some custom plumbing done to it. It has a Golden Tuning Co. Stage 2 tune. These are some upcoming tuners over here in Bangalore. Should definitely check them out. And you have a full exhaust system custom made from stainless steel. And it has a hard cut limiter which sounds epic at 4,500 RPM. Have a listen. Now, hop into the interior and it's the same story as the complete car. You can customize the interior as much as you want. You can get a different type of steering wheel. Well, this steering wheel in and of itself is really nice. I really like the way this thing looks. Nice flat bottom and you have some steering mounted controls. Uh, you have a nice 9 and 3 uh, grip position. Then you have the center console which has an infotainment system. Now this is an RCD 330. It's not the 340 which gets the bigger screen and uh, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity but this thing is usable in itself but you can definitely upgrade to the 340 if you want quite an expensive upgrade if you think about it around 40 grand if I'm not wrong but definitely worth it because you at least get the latest and greatest of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto then you can change your gear shifter knob you can change the way the seats look it's basically endless and moreover this is a very practical car as well you have loads of space in the back you can actually carry four people in this car you have a massive boot at the back as well which can carry tons of luggage so a very practical car for a student who's going to be probably doing intercity trips very often Unlike the Polo which is an enthusiast favourite, the Vento is definitely not your first pick when it comes to starting your tuner journey. But it's pretty much identical to the Polo in terms of what you can do in terms of mods, the engine and the gearbox. So apart from it looking like a dad car, everything else is just like the Polo. So you don't have anything to worry about in terms of aftermarket support and all of that. And this car is a good example on how you can make your dad's old daily driver into your own little rocket ship. So as explained, the engine has a couple of mods attached to it. 
Now you pair all of those mods together and this thing now approximately makes 165 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque. That's pretty good for your first project car basically. Moreover, since it's a Vento, you're not going to attract a lot of attention, unnecessary attention from the cop. So you're going to be nice and low key. And once you start putting your foot down, this 1.5 TDI with all of these mods definitely has a great response. And in the corners, it's also pretty, pretty good because it's currently on Cobra lowering springs. It has some Lenzo Jaeger Dyna rims, which are 17 inches. And around those, you have Michelin PS4 tires with the 205 section. So you're pretty sorted in the corners as well in terms of grip. And it's a manual transmission. So it's fun to drive as well. And your first project car always has to be a manual. Don't get anything else or else you won't learn how to drive and how to take care of your cars properly. And this definitely helps improve your driving. So you can do a lot of more mods to this uh, car. Just like the Polo, you know, you can get a bigger turbo, you can get a CR177 turbo for this car, which will start scratching the surface of 200 horsepower if you tune it correctly. Uh, then, of course, you can get a big brake kit. The most uh, notorious ones that you can get are the Audi S1 big brake kits, which are 312 mm rotors for the front. And that will definitely help improve your braking performance because let's be honest, these brakes are not the best around. The other thing is that since this might be one of your first project cars, you don't have to worry about the part situation for this car because it's a Volkswagen Vento. The both the Polo and the Vento have become so famous and so accessible to so many people in India that parts, maintenance and service nowadays, you can literally get it done at almost every garage possible. So there's nothing to worry about that as well. But since it's a German car, of course, some of the things will be a little bit more on the expensive side. For example, if your Swift takes, let's say, 3,000 rupees for a service, this will take 5,000 to 6,000 rupees for a service. But it's totally worth it because you get that German finishing inside, you get that German performance and you get that amazing aftermarket support as well. Plus the safety. It's always good to have your first car super duper safe. So that even if you make some sort of an unfortunate mistake, this thing will save you and make sure you're not hurt. This thing also has a couple of more creature comforts which are actually necessary nowadays. First off, it has cruise control which will be very helpful on the highway and you don't have to worry about fuel economy at the end of the day because it's still a diesel car regardless of it being stage 2. In fact, stage 2 will help you get more fuel economy because that's just what tuning does. So this thing will easily be in the 20 kmpl range on the highway and maybe around 12 to 13 kmpl in the city, which is pretty, pretty doable for a young kid like me. Well, let's talk about how much it would cost to build yourself your very own Vento TDI. To start things off, you'll need a car. Currently looking at the market for Vento diesels, you should be able to pick up a good example for anywhere between three and a half to five lakh rupees. Now coming to the mods, to have an exact build like this one, the owner has a BMC air intake with plumbing done for 15,000 rupees. The owner has also gone ahead and installed a custom intercooler and that with the plumbing required to install it costed the owner 32,000 rupees. The owner also has an exhaust on the car that cost him around 28 to 30,000 rupees. To accompany all of these modifications, the tune cost the owner 30,000 rupees Coming to the exterior, the owner has lowered his car on Cobra lowering springs that cost him 27,000 rupees and he has these beautiful set of Lenzo rims that cost him a whopping 1.3 lakh rupees including the tyres he has on it. Overall for a diesel build, it's a very good setup to well smoke someone on the grid with all of that diesel talk leaving behind a big black cloud. If you have a Vento 1.5 TDI and you're not too sure what you could do what you can do with it well don't worry because there is a lot of things that you can do to it so thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to our channel comment down below what you think of the vento 1.5 tdi 
uh, would you take your dad's old daily driver and uh, mod it into something like this which is a fun nice little first project car for you comment all of that down below and i'll catch you in the next one